Hey everyone, so I test drove a Subaru WRX for a few days, and this car really captured my interest. It was definitely a car that I've been wanting to drive for a long time. You know, I've never driven a WRX before, so it was definitely new for me. And it really captured my interest for a few reasons. You know, it's one of the most affordable and recognizable performance sedans that you can buy today. It's very popular and it has strong credentials, you know, six-speed manual, turbo four-cylinder, all-wheel drive. Uh, it's just a good bargain with plenty of performance. So before I got in the car, I was expecting it to definitely drive sporty. Things like good cornering, good power, and I was also thinking it was going to be rough around the edges. Um, I wasn't expecting the best ride quality or much of any amount of interior features or luxuries. But I was still very excited to get in this car and show everyone what it's all about. Like I said, it's a good performance car for the money, at least on paper. So without further ado, this is my review of the Subaru WRX, and I hope you all enjoy. Hey everyone, today I have for you a Subaru WRX. I'm gonna take you around this car. It is a um, premium model premium trim level. The Limited gives you like full leather and all the really nice creature comforts. This is like the middle trim level so you get like cloth seats and things like that but you also get um, heated cloth seats which is pretty nice. Uh, take you around the back here. Doesn't really have like a crazy spoiler or crazy wing to it. Um, but as all Subarus are, this is all-wheel drive, so that's pretty nice. Um, we'll hop in, we'll show you guys what the back seat looks like. All right. And this seat is like where I would sit. And back seat actually isn't too bad. It's not like extremely spacious or roomy, but um, it's actually like decently comfortable for like a longer trip. So really can't complain too much with the back seat room. We'll check under the hood and see what that looks like. All right, and this is a two liter turbocharged flat four. Makes 268 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. Pretty good numbers. We'll close up the hood here. I like that hood scoop too, that looks really cool. But uh, we'll hop in this thing, show you what it's made of. It does have the six speed manual. Uh, no push to start in this, just a normal key. But we're in neutral and we'll just start it up. It doesn't have like the most performancey sounding like startup noise. Just because this is like a WRX, I thought maybe it would sound a little meaner and more aggressive, but um, we'll get it on the road. The engine does have like a pleasant sound to it. You do have a screen right here. It's honestly pretty basic. Um, you just get audio, phone. We'll go into our apps. You do get like Pandora and this is like Subaru Starlink. But yeah, very basic stereo, very basic screen. Um, you do get your climate controls right here, just your temperature your fan speed and your mode right here. Um, kind of unusual how the climate control is displayed with that screen. That kind of caught me a little off guard, but I actually kind of like that because you don't really have to take your eyes off the road to check your climate control. Um, also gives you like a nice turbo boost gauge right there, which I like. Um, but yeah, we'll go over the shifter. Um, it's a pretty nice shifter. It's very mechanical feeling. It's not like a numb shifter. It actually uh, has good feel to it. The throws are pretty short and to go in reverse, you pull up on this little collar and go all the way over and down. And you get a nice backup camera. Not the best resolution, but it gets the job done, honestly. Um, on the steering wheel, you do have your Bluetooth controls right here, uh, your Bluetooth hang up. You have your next track seek track and you have your volume right here in the gauge cluster you got this these uh nice sporty red gauges um nothing really fancy in here but you know it works the wrx is a bit of like a cheaper car it's like cheap fun that's kind of how like it's marketed as 
And this interior is pretty bare bones, I will be honest. Lots of hard plastic. Um, not like, it's not the nicest place to be. You're not getting in this car expecting to be wowed by like luxury features, but it has enough features to get you by. Like you have your heated seats right here. Um, you also have a center console, very tiny. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but you do get USB and an aux and another power outlet right there. And the glove box is about average. I mean, it's a little small, could be bigger. In general, this car has a pretty small interior. Um, I do like the red stitching on this steering wheel, but other than that, pretty basic in here. Not a whole lot of frills, but that's okay. You know, you kind of get what you pay for with this car. It's all about the performance, not so much the interior quality. But yeah, we're just gonna set off, put it in first. One thing that kind of surprised me about the WRX when I first got it out on the road um, was just how like daily drivable this feels. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot smoother of a ride than I thought it would be. Not that I'd call this like pillowy soft or anything, but it's definitely like more uh, livable, more daily drivable than I pictured it being. It's fairly easy to drive. Like you really don't get a whole lot of drama with this car, but it's also nice and um, it's nice and responsive. It's nice and buttoned down, I would say. You get a fairly smooth, but very sporty character to this car. Uh, the steering is very direct, very responsive, as you'd expect from like a WRX. Um, it feels pretty weighty, like pretty heavy when you turn the wheel, uh, which I definitely like, has a good feel to it on center. And this engine revs like so quick. Uh, before you know it, you're, pa you're blowing past 4,000 RPM. Um, pretty crazy. Definitely surprised me a little bit how quickly this engine revs. It's kind of like by the time first gear engages, you're already ready for the next gear. And you get a nice little turbo whistle when you accelerate. It's a pretty easy manual to drive. Um, not a whole lot of drama with this manual transmission. Um, I will say though, I wouldn't want to like learn to drive stick in this car, uh, just cause it's, it's very responsive of a car. Um, it's not the most forgiving or easy going if you make a little mistake with the manual. Um, it definitely, it's definitely a car that will stall out on you if you don't really do it right. But uh, if you know like the basics of driving stick, it's pretty easy to be honest. The clutch feels very normal uh, and how it engages. It's got like a normal bite point, I find. Uh, really nothing too unusual there. The accelerator is very responsive though. Um, it's got just like right when you lean into the accelerator, this thing takes off. So that could make it a little bit difficult to drive stick if you're not really used to it. That was one of the challenges I found with this car when I first got in it was, you know, getting that uh, perfect clutch to gas ratio. Um, I found that like I was, sometimes I was like giving it too much gas before I released the clutch. Um, you really just need to like barely press the gas pedal and you know, you're off. So glides down the road pretty well and it's very mechanical feeling. Uh, you feel like a good part of the road through the steering. It's 
It's a very engaging car to drive. Um, the power band of this uh, four cylinder when you're like accelerating, um, it's not the smoothest. It doesn't have a whole lot at the beginning, but once you cross over like 3000 RPM, uh, this thing really kind of like takes you back and like launches forward. Um, some people might not like that. It's all about like the character of this car. You know, it's kind of high strung and it's definitely not like the smoothest. It's not like a Lexus or something like that. Um, if you want like a Lexus driving experience, I wouldn't get a WRX. Hear that nice turbo whistle. Left that guy in the dust pretty good. Always a treat driving a manual car. Gives you a little something to do when you drive. Uh, really good visibility in this car. Um, these windows go nice and low. I feel like I can just see everything. Pillars are very thin. You don't really see the front hood much besides that like hood scoop right there. And a very clear big back window. So really visibility, I can't complain. It's very good in this WRX. Brakes feel solid, you know, they have a normal bite and they stop the car very well. Very normal, very solid uh, braking feel in this car. Very engaging shifter, as I said. Doesn't feel like loose or anything or like numb. You definitely feel like you're uh, hitting the gear that you want every time you shift, which I really like. Yeah, as I said, once you cross over like 3000, you just get launched in the back of your seat. Like this car, it, at the beginning, it feels very normal, um, but then it kind of shocks you with that sudden uh, wave of power. The accelerator pedal is like very light um, in its like feel. That's kind of like the best way I can describe it. Um, it's very light and it's very responsive. I kind of prefer like when the accelerator feels a little stiffer, uh, if that makes sense, but it's not bad. Uh, it works just fine. Not a whole lot of road noise, actually. I mean, you get like an average amount, the amount you'd expect for like an everyday car, but really it's not too bad. I, I thought this would be like kind of loud and noisy inside, but uh, no, they, they did a pretty good job uh, isolating the sound. I also like this display. It tells you what gear you're in. That's that's actually kind of useful. Um, I checked that a couple times when I wasn't like 100% sure, but yeah, very nice, very nice feature. It's pretty fast. Um, definitely not a slow car. I just thought it would be a little bit quicker um, you hear a lot of, I mean, I'm sure with like performance mods, it would be a lot faster. Definitely quick, not just not like, like super lightning fast, I would say. But that's kind of to be expected. Definitely a unique sound to this engine though. Sounds pretty good. Uh, being that this is a flat four engine, the cylinders are facing each other. Um, instead of like an inline four, it does sound a little bit different than your typical uh, four cylinder engine. Pretty good turning radius too back there.
I'd say most of the power is like between 3,000 and uh, probably like 5,000 RPM. Once you get past like 5,000 RPM, the power definitely drops off. It doesn't feel quite as strong. Definitely has its like ideal range where it feels the strongest. try out the cornering ability uh, it corners very naturally definitely one of the best um, one of the best characteristics of this car is just how well it corners feels very smooth and like really like encourages you to toss it around so yeah definitely good handling from this WRX Steering feels very planted and secure as well. But you know, when you don't feel like whipping it around, uh, it's a very smooth and very comfortable car for what it is. You really don't feel like you're making a whole lot of sacrifices for the level of cornering that this car provides. Yeah, I really like um, how precise the steering is. Uh, feels really good. Great mid-range power to this engine. Yeah, definitely a little high strung for sure. Uh, not the smoothest, um, not the smoothest acceleration, I'll say. Actually, I haven't done this yet so see how it drives on the highway really good cornering right there very impressed try out the passing power Gets right up there, no problems. You can definitely tell it wants to go fast. We'll try going back the other way. A little bit loud on the highway, definitely hearing some wind noise, but uh, nothing too bad. Nothing that I wouldn't expect.
yeah, it does very good on the highway. It's pretty fun. Definitely like that exhaust sound too. You can hear it once in a while. It sounds really good. Try this little corner. Just has very good grip. You do, it does lean a little bit. This doesn't feel exactly like a total sports car or anything like that, but it does handle very well. And it feels very natural when it does it. Definitely a fun car to throw around, for sure. All right, we'll do one last little acceleration here. guys well I think I'll end the video here uh, that about sums up my thoughts on the WRX yeah it's a good fun car to drive um, not like a supercar it's not like a Lamborghini it's not like gonna totally impress you but for the money I think this is a good choice um, I was I think I was most impressed with just how smooth of a ride it is and how like fairly like normal it is and daily drivable um really wasn't expecting that was expecting this thing to be really loud and ride like a buckboard but it's really not like that the engine is quite powerful um definitely has a unique power band to it pretty bare bones interior but like I said you kind of get what you pay for you're paying more for like the sportiness and not so much the luxury but yeah you guys we're gonna hop out hope you enjoyed my review all right thanks for watching everyone